And here we go, the heaven has landed. Hampton Court, there's the palace there, just over the river, just over that bridge. And there's Hampton Court tube station, so nice and easy to get here. Got line in the unicorn, guard in the uh, gate entrances. There's Blake Ethan on the buses down there. This is the main entrance to the uh, palace. This is called the uh, base court here. Uh, around, around it, we've got actually 30 different suites which were kept for uh, dignitaries to stay in when they visited the palace. This is the first uh, courtyard entrance. That's a screen school kid, sadly. This is called the Emberlin's Gate because up on the top there is a, a, a ceiling rose and it's actually, she carved her initials in it so that's why it's still got the, the name of her uh, Emberlin Gate. These are the steps up to the Henry VIII apartments. I thought these were frescoes at first, but they're actual carpets. This room here, Henry had made for Jane Seymour. Funny when you, when you look at him, he's a huge stature, and you think how he's evolved now, he's a euphemism for a drug deal, basically. and the grounds here have been open to the public since 1838 and that was under Queen Victoria, it was her who opened it up. Some might be familiar with the term Hampton for uh, a man's private bits. This is actually from uh, Cockney rhyming slang, uh, Hampton Wick, Dick. the public dining room. This is the privy chamber. This 
is the drawing room. view you got. That's, that's where all the magic happens. these tapestries are there in, in the palace there's a lot because there's a lot more on, on display as well because they're too delicate what are you talking about hundreds um, probably under a hundred they are quite big so it's quite a few yeah and what would the value then be any idea no idea this is in the gardens this is the palace here we go, Kango Man's off again. There's the palace there, beyond that waterfall. How nice is this? That would be I to have so much wealth like this. Do you know, you can look around at all of this, you can think just how much it cost and the power that you'd have. But then, look at today with uh, Prince Charles, or King Charles as he's now known. You know, a direct descendant in, in the same bloodline as this, yet he's been struck down with cancer. He's eaten the best food all his life. He's had the best medical care. He's never had to do a physical job. He's, he's not been on a factory floor or on a building site breathing in horrible dust. And yet he's still been struck down with it. So all this money, all this wealth, it don't count for much when it comes down to things like that. That's quite a view, isn't it? Come out of there. Along the lime tree path. Bosh. In 1647, King Charles was being held under arrest by Cromwell here at the actual palace. And he escaped through these privy gardens here. Only he'd be recaptured again later and executed. What a lovely place to come and relax after you've uh, just beheaded one of your wives.
So you've got your gardens there. You come out through this walkway. That leads you to this. And then I'm assuming that is where uh, the grapevines grow when the weather's better. Over there's the big house. Wow. Henry VIII and Catherine Parr married in her priory closet, Hampton Court, the morning of the 12th of July, 1543. Not very big, but surprisingly difficult to get your way out of.